it's always a good day to beat up on Timmy, finish up some missions. Hope you guys are all doing wonderful today. If you are, make sure you let me know by uh, leaving a comment. Tell me about your day. I appreciate you guys telling me what you guys got going on because I really do root for you. I promise you, I really do root for each and every one of you to do well. But uh, yes, have you guys been playing with any Roman Victa? Because I'm having a lot of fun with it and uh, it's a fun mod or with uh, Flavor Universalis that is. Roman Victa is the name of the previous update. They're actually on to the Persian update last I looked, which uh, leave a comment and let me know if you guys would like to see some uh, Persia because ooh, 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 we are getting a tag down here. That is not ideal. Oopsies, oopsie poopsies. These guys are going to get scorched. Meet you in the mountains here. 23rd, we can be there for that. All right, 23rd. There you go. Easy enough. So these guys should get clapped. Oh, yeah, they are. Very good. Let's have these guys get caught out in the drylands down here. Yeah, they got a lot of men over here, man. No kidding. Just need to kill them all. Look at that. Is that Yemen? That's mostly Timurids. Nagaur. Really? Nuh-uh. What? They're like, they start the game as these two provinces. That's crazy. You do not see that blob very often. I, to be honest, I don't think I ever have. Because <laughs> they have the German flag, right? <laughs> the Imperial German flag. That is crazy. Okay. Well, let's um catch some of them out. No general. No problem. Oh, they have a general apparently. And they're dogpiling. So let's get over there. We are going to siege down his capital. All I really want is a couple of provinces over in Fars. Farsistan. Uh, as far as trade goes, we're steering almost all of it out of there. And, uh, okay. Let's have you guys protect trade in Valencia. That should handle most of that. And, uh, we'll take the Diplotech whenever it looks appropriate. Have these guys get full occupied over here. And all I want really realistically is a couple of provinces over here like something like that yeah i think that's fair that's totally fair and then we'll clean up the borders over here as well you guys need to get killed get bent this is mountains so it's not ideal but that's okay looks like we're gonna wipe them out anyway so no big deal all right here they are get back over here Kill off a couple of the armies. Of course, march for, you know, to assert our dominance. There we go, something like this. That is a stack wipe on you. Let's get over here. Okay. Let's um get up there with a the general. That's a easy clap for us, of course. They have no reason to think that that would work for them. <laughs> um, these guys are over here winning this siege. So let's barrage those walls. Interest per annum is fine. There we go. To be honest with you, I should have um, transferred it over to Georgia for defensiveness. Get you guys over here, over there. Basically, we just want to kill off as many of their smaller stacks as possible. Because look at this. Oh yeah. They uh they don't stand a chance at all. And the more men they lose, the less willing they're gonna be to be in the war in the in general. So oh yeah, they're already on uh because remember it's a show superiority war. So holy war. And there you go. That's not bad, right? <laughs> that was pretty straightforward. So that will free up the mission for this. We just need this prosperity. It's taking so long. It takes so dang long. Get you guys over here. Have you guys head over this way? Go to like Aleppo. Take that tech. Being ahead on time on tech. So making good money from trade. Awesome. And uh, I think get a couple more of these guys. There you go. 
plenty of that going down. And I'm not converting for any reason other than fun role play. That's all. That's literally it. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy. If anybody was wondering, because I get a lot of questions about it. People don't see, you know, me mention it and then they ask questions like, wait a minute, why would you do that? It's like, for fun, for funsies. Don't you want to have fun when you play the game? I like to have fun. I like to have fun. Let's uh, use these guys to um, improve with our subjects and then our allies or our neighbors rather. We haven't had a coalition join us either. Look at this. Getting full occupied by these guys. Truce with these guys won't be up for, won't be up. Will, will be up before too long. Um, okay, let's click this one. Get, see, I hate it when it, Admin mana. Sounds good. We're working on an admin group, so truce with the MAMS is over. Don't care. MAMS is an OPM. We'll maybe annex them eventually. I don't really care. TBH. Let's get our colonist in here. Start cleaning up these borders. We're going to go into Western Rome or Western whatever we should. All right. Commonwealth is huge now. Look at that. <laughs> Eesh. Protect the coasts. Uh, coastal defense and naval battery. And have at least eight Marines. <laughs> and have eight impressment offices. Man, and we got to do all that. Okay. Well, we have the money to do it. So we might as well do it, right? Let's say, hey, anybody who wants to... Uh, you want to blockade me, do it at your own peril. Because you're going to have to pay for it. You guys are over here. Here. It's fine. That's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll do. Need some impressment offices to set as well, right? One of the following must be true. Have at least eight Marines. Or. I'm so confused. It says one of the following must be true. Have at least eight Marines. And then underneath that. So it says, basically it says you have to do that. So eight impressment offices. Which we can do. That's fine. They're expensive, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can rival the Commonwealth. Might as well. Tell them that... Uh, might as well embargo them. Uh, we have a truce with them, so we can't do it. But it's fine. Having uh, having rivals is good. We need to start looking into becoming a hegemon. I don't know how close we are. Economic, we're kind of close, to be honest with you. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to get a merchant from over here, but we can probably get one from over here. As long as these are orthodox, it's all that really matters. Oh, right. This is a state, so I'm not going to be able to get it there. But as long as they're the appropriate religion, I don't really care a whole lot. Might be able to get one from Basra. A merchant, that is. Portuguese rebels. Uh, Catalan. Mashriki. Let's build a couple of these guys over here. And we might as well get a few more of them over here. There you go. Build these guys in all of our goods produced provinces. Let's actually build these guys first because these guys are really powerful. And then these guys here in all of them. I wish there was like a drop down menu you could use. So let's take a look at how that affects our trade. 357, 376, not bad. Convert all the Christians to Christian. <laughs> Very good, though. So fast. Austria getting beat up by Switzerland. I love to see Austria get, like, absolutely destroyed. I do appreciate the, uh, the very blobby Commonwealth as well. All right. Very good. So, how we doing over here? Very close. We're getting there. 92%. 93. We're just going to speed 5 till we can get this. Continue converting things, of course. And uh, make sure that we are continuing to build the infrastructure in every province. And uh, build that in the good ones. And then build universities in the rest. Universities are very nice. It gives you 20% uh, dev cost. And in my mod, it's called Centers for Kids Who Can't Read Good, but that's just Artemis UI, but 20% dev cost, and it fills up its own slot, so really solid. So Ajam has a couple of allies that I don't really care about. 
Uh, I could have taken some clay from Hormuz. The Mams don't matter. Yeah, we might as well do this, right? Let's have you guys head down here, take out the Mamlux. Let's have you guys um, head up here. To be honest with you, we should probably get some more, another army over here. Let's do it. I need the money, right? In a couple of months, I'll start recruiting. Let's have those guys head over there. I'd like to beat up on Hormuz. Looks like we're going to have to annex Yas as well. We have a truce with them. Unfortunate. So probably not going to actually touch Hormuz's land. Let's uh, build up that army template that I was talking about. Right, yep. Yeah. That's fine. Hopefully my little one stacks don't get killed. That's always annoying. You are the finest. Infantry combat ability is good. I like that. Thank you. Our siege ability is already really good. There you go. Get these guys out of here. Yep, kill them all. Mountains, no problem. They suck. That over here. Catch them. There you go. Not bad, right? Because I'm coring this stuff up right now. So, obviously, we need to be in control of it to core it. So, there you go. And uh looks like we've got our prosperity over here. Yes, we do. And so... We can now, what is this, proto-capitalism? Mercantilism at least 35, and then burger influence lower than 40. Okay. So whenever our impressment offices finish, we'll get that done. And have at least eight Marines. Can I do Marines? I don't think I can, right? Kind of annoying if I have to do get them, because that means I'll have to take naval ideas. Which, I don't like that if that's the case. So this will give us a bunch of bonuses to the end of the game. This will give us permanent claim on Arabia, which is good. This will give us goods produced in Tabriz and some PP and some, you know, bonus stuff. And then this will give us 15% trade efficiency, which is nice. Diplomana and Mercantilism, which uh, we need more Mercantilism. This one is, uh, is a Hegemon. So all we need to do is become a Hegemon. All right. <laughs> we'll be able to do that eventually. Especially if we continue building up our economy like we have been. Now, let's see here. Tabriz is done. Yerevan. So, yeah. This will actually be fine because we'll be able to, like, full annex him. To be honest, we, we may full annex Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to full annex him. Because that gives us two more trade centers over here that we'll be able to... Ooh, three more trade centers that we'll be able to add. And we'll probably be able to get an extra merchant from here. Steer a bit more. All is good with that. That's awesome. But uh, we're going to have to piece out a few other people first here. Get you guys over here and get you guys up there. Kill the mams. Kill them all. Destroy them. There you go. We got these guys here. Let's have you head over there. And let's have these guys split, 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 split and occupy 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 something like that that's fine let's have these guys head over and uh, beat up on hormuz we do have permanent claims on this land down here now and we'll take it eventually right now i just want to you know beat up on them so that they will uh, accept peace with me that's the main thing i want from them just want to peace hormuz out This guy's whose guy whose man's is this? Very good. So we're 11 years ahead of time, so might as well do a little bit of culture conversion, right? Going for my one culture run here. Shout out, Budget Monk. I, sh I should Budget Monk everything he knows, just so you know. And uh, he's here. Really. Who else is in this war? Oh, what? It's just the same color. All right, Gudra and Hormuz are literally the exact same color. Okay. Give you guys here, 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 and here. Continue converting. These guys are annoying. Chagatai is actually kind of beefy. So, probably going to end up needing to head over there. Yep, let's get them out. 
Have these guys head over here. Get these guys full occupied to the best of our abilities. All right, let's have these guys head over this way. Beat up Hormuz. Have you guys head over this way. Mamluks one out. Can I annex you? There you go. Thank you, sir. Convert it first. Land maintenance, production efficiency, dev cost, and then what will we get here? Still none of those, really. It's unfortunate. Um, we'll get goods produced, which is very solid. Yeah, we don't need to influence them anymore. Nobody cares about Ethiopia. In the game, of course. If I have any Ethiopian viewers, I hope you guys are all doing well. <laughs> I wish you the best. All right. Getting some stuff culture converted. Looking good. Oh, yeah, it's looking really good. I love it. Hormuzi separatists. Get you guys over there. These guys need to get onto Muscat. So we can peace out Hormuz. Just a white piece is fine. Because we're going to come back and attack them very soon. Get you guys over there. These guys are not siege down yet. Very annoying. All right. So no guys in this war as well, apparently. Continue influencing them. I should probably influence these guys if I'm not already. Definitely. Always influence your vassals. There's no reason not to. It's just strictly beneficial. You guys over here. Start garrisoning our lands. As we grow more and more, it means there's going to be more and more rebels. So it's just good to garrison it. I'm going to finally be able to get over there without having to march through Georgia's lands. Come on now, 92. Thank you. Get you guys out of here. I'm going to max out on mill mana as well. So uh, do a little bit of dev here. What do you guys think? Should I do the edicts as well? I internally screamed when he devved without the edict. Mm. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. Saul Goodman. All right. So no guy. There you go. Peace out, homie. Goodbye. And that means we can now accept this peace. Oh, just kidding. He's uh feeling good. Making gains. There you go. Thank you. And a yoink and yoink and yoink and yoink. So much yoinking. Yoink. Yoink. Is that all of them? Yes, it is. Looks like it. Pour it all up. Perfectly calculated. And uh, suppress rebels over here. So all we need to do is convert this land and we should be able to get another merchant. Which will be really good. Metal working. Yeah. Let's uh let's do that. I haven't I've been neglecting these buildings. The production buildings are really nice because we get the point one goods produced. Since we're the leading guy. This may actually like kind of tank my performance. I'm not entirely sure. It's uh sort by this. Build the ones that are giving us the most. Bang for buck. And then back to universities. Because, you know, we want to teach the kids how to read, right? We don't need any of those universities for ants. Have these guys head over, you know? And, uh, not bad. So, we have completely finished up this mission, this part of the mission tree. Except for this, which is to become a hegemon, which we'll do eventually here. This one over here is to appease those guys. Overextension. Right, yeah. We need to not, not conquer anything for a minute. This one is to have mercantilism and have burger influence lower, which is this one, right? Or this one here gives everybody influence. So let's just get rid of that. That will cut their influence. Uh, yeah, it's fine. So they're down to 55, 56. Hmm. All right. Let's uh, yoink that. And that will cut them down to 46. Lose the money. I'll take a loan out. I didn't even take a loan out. That's awesome. Stab cost modifier. Okay. So. Meritocratic recruitment. All right. Let's get rid of that. 
Let's go with admin free policies. Cool. Sounds good to me. Actually saves us an admin mana a month. Yeah, we have three policies for free right now. We'll be able to get this one. Uh, the goods produced, which is going to be really nice for our income. Are we up over 800 now? 800. So we're actually very close to getting economic hegemon. I could push for military hegemon. Military is better in my opinion, but uh, man, is it a grind to actually like get to that point? Very expensive hegemon to get, but I, th I think we should do it, right? What do you guys think? Okay, very good. So we have protect the coasts, which gives us fund ethnikis ipod ipodomes. Provinces we own with a canal system will receive a local dev discount as well as increasing provincial trade power. Uh, that's awesome because, you know, we've been working ahead and getting a ton of those. So now we have the 10% dev cost. So let's see here. Oh man, that's so good. We're actually building a bunch more. So I'll wait for them to finish up. Oh, I think those are universities actually. I think these are like all universities getting built right now, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's click this button here. That's pretty good. So then we need this one, which is to have mercantilism, really. All right. Well, just need to get a little bit more. We need three more of those. So we can just, you know, sink a couple of points into it. No big deal. Two more of those clicks and we're good to go. And then we're also nobility loyalty. Yeah, we'll get their loyalty up. That's no problem. No problem at all. Uh, so, I, yeah, we're just going to maintain our uh, position. We're going to keep on building up these buildings. Oops. And uh, get our force limit up over a million. That should work out just fine. Look at that. That's a lot of ducats right there. Mi primer, mi John. You guys like a little bit of Spanish music? Basilos. I think I've shouted them out before. Incredible music. Very good. They're kind of like a... I don't know. Like if you're an American, they're kind of like a plain white tease, only Spanish. Sort of is like the genre. It's an alternative rock. It's good stuff. It's really good. They actually have a bunch of different music. So I recommend giving them a listen. All right. So we are like absolutely ripping through it. We're almost done with the mission tree. So good. So once we become Hegemon, the glory of Rome... Okay. And then once we get those guys done, proto-capitalism, we're almost there. Concept of absolutism, which we will get. Governing cap 10%. That's nice. Um, piece this. 10 owned provinces have at least 30 dev with a university. That's super easy. Um, free policies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll have four free admin policies. Um, reform progress growth. That's fine, I guess. And then inflation down. That's easy. We can do that which will give us interest per annum, global trade power, and uh, reduce inflation cost. 35% goods produced. We'll be able to get that no problem at all. And reform the judicial code, which will give us monthly admin power and uh, advances admin tech by one. Oh my gosh, really? Five government reform progress. Oh my gosh, okay. 10 provinces have a steam factory. Okay, or 30 dev. Or we've embraced industrialization. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, send them whatever they need. That's fine. Let's uh, get you guys built up. Thank you. As we build those up, you'll see our uh, force limit will continue to go up. We just need it to go over a million. That way we can build up. And we'll probably do mostly infantry. It's fine. Uh, build you. We need one more click there. And we'll be able to get that one done. I am, uh, you know, uh, say what you want about the new mission system. I get a lot of people that I've heard say, like, they missed the old mission system, which was, like, mostly RNG and stuff. And it's just like, yeah, I understand. But like, this is fun. I'm not going to lie. It's fun. I appreciate it. I think it's really well done. Especially, like, the modding possibilities. Like, look at this. Look at this mission tree. This thing's a masterpiece. Stiopa would be proud. Stiopa makes great mission trees as well. So quite a few of really good ones out there. So to promote mercantilism, that will allow us to click this button, which will give us five more mercantilism, 10% goods produced for 30 years and promote culture cost. Concept of absolutism, which gives us governing capacity, which is really nice. 
that uh, allows us to state up a bunch more stuff. So we should. Uh, well, most of this stuff is in trade companies here. Um. Hmm. Right. 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 So I'm gonna add all these guys here. It's so like this state over here is in the trade company, but it's a uh, there isn't any provinces that are in the trade company in that state. So like you can state up states that don't have anything in the trade any trade companies. Let's see, like if you click on it here, like this one, we can state this one up. Uh, this one as well, we can state it up. This one here, we cannot. This one here, we cannot. So let's also upgrade a bunch of these provinces. Uh huh. Let's uh do one dev there. Boom. There you go. And one dev here. Boom. There you go. Toledo is good. Okay. This province here needs one more dev, and boom. There you go. And that's good. So Mashriq, we're very close to this one. I kind of want to add Baghdad and upgrade it. And we need to also destate this, add Basra and upgrade it. These states over here, say we can state them because there is no um, trade centers in it. And I'm going to start doing that because since we have so much governing capacity, there's no reason not to. We don't need every province to be in a state or every province to be in a trade company. These guys down here, if there's no trade centers, there's really no reason to do it, right? So then you go in here, pour it all up. There you go. And uh, pour that all up. We got an extra merchant from Basra. So, steering from Basra is probably our best bet, right? That takes us from 482. Might take a minute, month or two. Oh, 500. Not bad. Yeah, I like it. Cool. Uh, so what we need to do first is come over here and convert all these provinces that are going to be added to the trade company. Tabriz already has been. So let's upgrade Tabriz. And how far off are we from getting a missionary from Persia? Um, I don't see one here. Is that Mashriki company? Is that this one? Because we have multiples. Yeah, the Mashriki company. That's fine. We got an extra merchant somewhere. I don't know where they came from. That's okay. Um, Ethiopia's got some trade. Timbuktu. We got a decent bit of trade over here. I think it might be in our best interest to steer through Hormuz. There's quite a bit of trade over there that's left on the table. We're up to almost a, almost a thousand ducats of income. So once we get over there, we're at 504, 506. I don't think we've made it yet. We have not. So we'll go from 506, 507 basically. Still haven't made it. Oh, we lost the merchant again. Dang it. Okay, that's fine. Um, so yeah, basically we're just going to start uh, stating up everything that we can because what that's going to do is it's going to give us a lot of money in the bank, a lot more, uh, lowered autonomy, which will increase our force limit quite a bit. That way, if we want to make a push for uh, military hegemon, we can do that. Um, it's fine. And then convert everything else because you know of course very good very good so um where was it this one down here inflation which we can get down no problem it'll actually go down within the next year i don't even need to spend mana on it so that's great and then get another one from the i'm really i'm not getting any from the nobility and i don't know why don't need strong duchies either Yoink that. Manufacturing and van. I'll do that. That's fine. So we should probably be building more manufacturers than we have, to be honest with you. But yes, a bit of a longer episode. Hoping that you guys are enjoying the campaign. Cleaning up borders, getting everything sort of sorted out so everything is uh, going to go 
swimmingly as far as our mission tree goes. We definitely need to start getting into France. Um, there's nothing stopping us, really. We could actually do it literally right now. So let's queue that up. If you guys are enjoying the campaign, let me know by leaving a like on the video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, ding the bell. It'll send you notifications when we upload. If you want to uh, support me over on Patreon, you can do that. Link in the description below the video. And uh, also, I recommend you checking out the Discord. Um, you know, Patreon, like I said, Discord, uh, which subreddit. The subreddit is linked in the description below as well. And uh, I keep getting another one over here from something. Crimea one we're not going to get. Catalonia, right. Okay. But uh, yeah, all those things are linked in the description. Like I said, feel free to check them out. And uh, this is True Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.